They want us to subtract these two numbers and simplify the answer and write as a mixed number. And we're going to do it two ways. The first way, we're going to turn both of these into improper fractions and see what we get. And then the other way, we're going to keep, we're going to subtract the whole number of parts and then subtract the fraction parts and see what we get. So if we Turn them both into improper fractions. Let's first turn 8 and 2 thirds into an improper fraction. So it has 3 in a denominator. And 3 times 8 is 24. 24 plus 2 is 26. So 8 and 2 thirds is the same thing as 26 over 3. And 5 and 5 6, so we're going to subtract. We're going to have 6 in the denominator. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 plus 5 is 35. So this simplifies, or as an improper fraction, is 35 over 6. Now to subtract, we have to have a common denominator. 3 and 6 are not the same denominator, but they are both divisible into 6. 6 is the least common multiple of 3 and 6. So let's turn them both into something over 6. So the 26 over 3, if we put it over 6, to go from 3 to 6 in the denominator, we have to multiply by 2. So we have to do the same thing in the numerator. We have to multiply 2 times 26, which is 52. So it's going to be 52 over 6 minus, minus, we don't have to change this one here in orange. It's already over 6, minus 35 over 6, which is going to be equal to, what's 52 minus 35? Let's see, if you add 5 to 35, you get to 40. 15 will get you to 15 will get you to 50. And so we want two more, so it's going to be 17. So it's 17, 17 over 6. This is as an improper fraction. Now if we want to write it as a mixed number, we say, how many times does 6 go into 17? Well, 6 times 2 is 12, so that works. 6 times 3 is too big, it's 18. So it goes in 2 times. Now if you get, take it into it 2 times, you get 12, and then you have 5 left over. right? To go from 12 to 17, you need 5. So you have 5 left over. You could say 6 goes into 17 2 times, remainder 5. So 17 over 6 is 2 and 5. 6. And we're done. Now this is kind of the improper fraction route, which you'll it'll always work. It'll always work. Sometimes it's easier or harder, but it will always work. Actually, either route will always work, but I tend to do it this way. But let's do it. Let's do it separating out the whole number and the fractional parts. So first we could view this as 8 minus 5. So let's do this. 8 minus 5, that's subtracting the whole number parts, plus 2 thirds 2 thirds minus minus 5 6. Now, 8 minus 5, that's easy. That's 3. And then over here, though, we have an interesting, well, let's try to work it out. If we try to do, so plus, let me do this in a different color. We want a common denominator here. And we already saw that 6 is the least common multiple of 3 and 6. So we could write them both with 6 as a denominator. 5 6 already has 6 as a denominator. We don't have to do anything there. To go from 3 to 6 in the denominator here, we have to multiply by 2. So let's do the same thing with this 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So this results in 4 6 minus 5 6, which will give us, and we haven't covered it yet, a negative number. If you take 5 from 4, you're going to go below 0. Now, if we don't want to deal with that negative number, what we could do, and this is essentially you know, the same idea as regrouping or borrowing, although they shouldn't call it borrowing, they should call it taking, is we can rewrite this 3. That's why this can get a little bit tricky sometimes. We can Let me do it over here. Let me draw a line here so we don't get the two ways of doing the problem confused. We can rewrite the 3 as 2 plus 1. But instead of writing as 1, we could write it as 6 over 6. right? 6 over 6 is 1, plus 2 is 3. And then if we add it to these guys, so plus 4 over 6 minus 5 over 6. Now what happened by doing that? Well, if we throw this 6 over 6 into the mix, and then we add to 4 over 6, and then we subtract the 5 from it, then we're going to have a positive number. So let's do it. So we get, we get this 2 right here. So it's 2 plus, and then over 6, over 6, we have 6 plus 4. Let me write it. 6 plus 4 minus 5. Now what's this going to equal? This is going to be this 2, this 2, and what over 6? And over 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, minus 5 is 5. So you have 2 and 5, 6, which is exactly what we got the other way.